Standing Drive is a good move to use as a poke. If the enemy is far away and tries to get close to you, you can generally use this move to stop them from advancing. If you can counter hit them, you can go into the combo shown. You can even use this move if they approach you from the air. If you think the opponent is too far away to do a full combo, then just cancel the standing drive into a crystal strike. If the opponent blocks your standing drive, you can cancel the drive into a dash to get in close, do an A version of Ice Blade to keep them away, or wait a moment and do the B version of Blizzard to hit them if they try to retaliate. Forward B goes over low attacks. On counter hit, you can combo into a forward C. On normal hit, you can combo into a crouching A. If the opponent blocks your forward B, you can cancel into a flying ice strike, or just land, since this move won't leave you very open. Jumping B can be used to cross the opponent up depending on when and where you press B. This move can also be used as a zoning tool because it hits far in front of Jin. But it does not hit above Jin, so you need to keep an eye on your opponent's position when you use this move. Crouching Drive can be used to hit people that air dash at you from low to the ground. However, you are very vulnerable if you miss. When you knock your opponent down with down forward C, cancel into the C version of Ice Blade. It's slow to start up, but you'll have enough time to get this move out and hit them if they roll forward. If they do a quick getup or a backwards roll, then they will be forced to block it. If you think the opponent will roll backwards, you can catch them with a Crystal Strike or, if you're fast enough, a forward C. If you think they will roll forward, use Crouching B because it will hit them as they roll behind you. When the opponent is blocking your attacks, do not always end with a Crystal Strike. You're vulnerable for a while even after touching the ground. Instead, try the following. Ending chains with Standing Drive or a Crouching Drive if they're at the right distance, ending with an A Crystal Strike, jumping away and blocking, or pressing A if they jump at you, jumping towards them, then B and C, or do an air ice blade or a flying crystal strike close to the ground. The A version of Blizzard comes out very quickly. Use this if you think they're going to jump away or jump at you. This move makes the opponent think twice before going into the air, because they must barrier guard it or instant block Blizzard when airborne. The B version of Blizzard comes out slower but has some invincibility. Note that it's not invincible from the start of the move, so you must do this move sooner than you would think. Violent Ice comes out slowly, but is invincible from the start. Use it when an enemy does a move that'll pass through you, and follow up with a combo on counter hit. Jin is left vulnerable for a long time afterwards, so only do it when you're sure it will connect. Dual Ice Strike is another high priority move, and comes out very fast, but requires 25% heat. You can hold the button down to delay the second hit, and hold to max length to make the second hit unblockable. Use it against jump-ins or when an enemy comes at you with an attack, and follow it up with a combo in the corner. It can also be used to bait an opponent's burst. Dual Ice Strike, Blizzard, and Violent Ice are all great moves to use to punish your opponent after instant blocking their attack. Ice Fang is a high damage move that comes out very fast. It's best used after a counter hit Blizzard, Freezing Crystal Strike, or after dual ice strike. Next up is Jin's forward strong. You can cancel this move with a forward dash and follow up with a combo. This move will only connect from standing or crouching strong and will only combo if it's done from a counter hit, an air hit, or when your opponent is crouching. When your opponent bursts, there's a window of time where they can't block. The safest way for Jin to deal with bursts is to do a move that is jump cancelable, standing weak medium strong, or crouching medium strong, and then block. The riskier but more damaging thing to do is to use dual ice strike. Jin's drive moves and his throw will freeze the opponent. The opponent can break out of the ice sooner by rapidly pressing left to right, so the time you have to attack while they are frozen is limited. If the word heat on the combo counter darkens, then that means the opponent could have shaken out of the ice before you hit them. You can only freeze the opponent once per combo, unless you use flying ice strike, 
or throw them again in the middle of the combo. 